thing belongs in a boneyard somewhere, but the brakes are locking up. They were in the process of removing the docks. I rented them a bobcat for two days, but I've exceeded, um, you know, what, what I can approve, and they need it for two more days. So I was hoping the board would approve that so they can finish up the dock project before the snow flies. Oh, I'll second. Roll call vote, please. Yes. 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 Maintenance is also requesting that we uh, do some work in the boat storage area. So I'm just looking for an, a motion to allow the maintenance to get quotes on this. They want to take out trees and straighten this out so that they can get more boats in there and it's more organized. <coughs> yes, sir. You want to do that? You want to get back in there? You know what's going on with that? He's the one that drew the, the plan, the plan. Main plan. Okay, so we we'll charge that storage truck. In the winter. In the winter. In the, winter. In the, winter. In the rest of the time. But in the summer, they park the all the trailers, trailers and everything back there. This is the back. Right. Okay. No, the one with all the trees in there is what it looks like right now. <laughs> they don't have trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one. That one. That's the back. Okay. We have to move very carefully because there's protected species back there. Um, I don't know if we can go back towards the fence, and I think we need to consider a buffer zone for closing. That's point. the center. That one goes here. That one goes here. There's one that's got an L on the back. Back the towards. Side. We're going okay. towards the road. Right? The towards Cozy Point. <laughs> Is that? Is that still backed up on the road for Cozy, or is that that house is backed up? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's just check. Where does the mayor want to say that? That's what the mayor has to do. I've never seen that when they talk about it. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I, I am a little concerned about the 60 trees, but some of them are pretty small, aren't they? Well, what we want to do is get um, some loggers in there. Have them price it because there's some nice trees in there for um, like red oaks and stuff. They can get get a lot of the dirt off, and that. that's what we want to do. So we can get the money, so we can go ahead and get that, and then we need to get the money for the yard miles for miles. Yeah, it's how, how big an area is this tree? Area that you want to pick out the trees. It's right on the 150 by the paper is 350 you, feet long and 150 feet wide. Okay, that's the whole thing, but but most of the trees are at the back, right? No. 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 You're talking right that's middle. throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Most of it's in the middle. Right in the middle, you park all around the trees the way I saw them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it shows on the Now we uh, we're overflowed. We got boats stored all over the place. Yeah, I know you do. Okay. Well, I would be able to find out what it costs to. All right. The consensus is to proceed. Get some prices. Okay, the last item has to do with the uh, noise ordinance. We already have a township noise ordinance, but it lacks any teeth because there's no reference to decibels, et cetera. Do you want to pursue your hand in a petition last go around? But it was pretty specific to one business. Or do you want to look at other avenues? Has anybody talked to that particular business? No. A little yeah, I, I would prefer rather than than doing an ordinance, I would prefer to try and deal with the business to see if we can. Get right. some that it's just a little too noisy. Okay, I'm a little well, yeah. the only thing I've got is I've been there for how many years? When you buy a house by a pig farm, don't complain about the state. <laughs> 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 That's I, I do know Don follows our noise ordinance for the times that are set in there on Saturday afternoons till this time on Sunday. That's all in that ordinance. 
follows. All of that's in there on the times that they have that band on the thing. So I mean, the sheriff actually told us no one in here has got a decimal meter. So you can put decimals in there all you want, they don't even carry a decimal meter. Not even a decimal meter. You don't even need one if you've got an iPhone. Right. You can download a decimal meter into your iPhone. But our police, the police have said don't put it in there because we don't carry it, but we don't enforce it. So I think Don has shown that he wouldn't wants to be a responsible yeah. business owner well, in the community. I think if we just have a conversation with them, tell yeah. them that, you know, we really kind of need to uh, crank it back a little bit. Well, you're always, you're always talking about wow. it's Saturday or the afternoon, Sunday. Yeah. You know, Most Saturdays and Sundays, Sundays the summer. That's it. Right. Been there. You know, you can't hear so. And that's, that's, it's been there since I was a little kid. A long time. I had my first beer there on so I, 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 I just have to say, in fairness to the residents that have spoken up, um, one particular gentleman who lives about a half a mile away says, because of his position on the river, it actually vibrates his windows. Um, and there are there are people that want to enjoy a Sunday afternoon on their their deck, and, and some of them find the music a little racy. Okay. So it's, this is probably the first year I've ever heard complaints, and there's been numerous ones from residents. So it's not, we don't want to just ignore it. Uh, hopefully we can just come along. Do we, do we think it's gotten louder this year as opposed to? Uh, yeah, yeah, it really has. Yes. yes. Any place I've ever been to with loud music, I'm very sure that people could enjoy the music if, was it, if it was half the volume. It's not a, it's not a matter of entertaining your, your people. It's just a matter of not entertaining the, the fish on the other side. Yeah. yeah I, I think if you talk to him and, and he understood what was going on without going through ordinances and code violations, I'm pretty sure he'd be willing to go along with uh, man, managing the volume. He seems to be very willing he to is. work with everybody. Yes. Are you guys making a I haven't noticed since we had talked to him. I don't know that the volume is quite a little bit lower than it was. Was that, was that after the meeting last month? Get up. That community. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. He, he's, he seems to want to work with the community and, and be a good neighbor. So I think we should start there. Okay. We'll take a code violation on this front door. Yeah, let's not do that. We can no. help. Hopefully, we can reach a peaceful thing. Okay, that is it for the agenda items, I believe. I have a question mm -hmm. before we're done. This letter from Bloom Slug at the Slate. Morgan? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't say private and confidential. Normally we open these up and they can go out. You mean you want to read it? No, I don't want to read it personally. I want to be able to give it to people in the public. Sure. Okay. Well, a lot of times, I mean, the lawyer's letters are usually approved that they can go. Doesn't say, it doesn't say okay. that. Okay. But I think I think most of it he's just quoting law. Okay. Yeah. So that was no, no problem. Public comment. Yes, ma'am. I'm Sandy Stocker, and I appreciate the fact that you did some clarifications on the questions I had. And as far as the question about uh, you guys digging back for material, and if there is a cost, let me know if there is. However, I don't believe that there should be. If there are questions in reference to information learned in your minutes, and they could have probably been answered back in July, but they were very well answered today, and I really appreciate it. You clarified a lot of the questions that I had. Thank you. Yes. Before we adjourn, I just want to uh, take a moment to uh, pay a tribute to one of our residents who passed away two weeks ago. Bill Miller, I believe uh, he's a former supervisor of Carlton Township. He's been a long time friend of mine and a much longer friend of mine, vice man. I thought uh, I don't see anything on the agenda. I am so sorry. <coughs> yes, that was a complete oversight. And if we may just have a moment of silence for Bill.
Thank you. Anyone else have a comment? And I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Second.